Welcome to Amsterdam. I'm Petrina, Michael and Jeremy's producer. Normally I'm behind the scenes, but the guys are swamped with press launches around the globe. They've asked me to test drive BMW's first all-electric vehicle, the i3. Powering the i3 is a 22 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack that delivers 170 horsepower and 184 foot pound of torque. There are three driving modes available. Normal will give you a 160 kilometer range, Eco Pro will give you 180 kilometers, and Eco Plus 200 kilometers. To ease any range anxiety, you can add a range extender. It'll increase your driving distance to about 300 kilometers, but that'll cost you another four grand. This option is a range extender that allows you to go 300 kilometers in some. Uh, 160 kilometers by the electric uh, range and an additional 140, 150 kilometers by the fuel tank uh, range. And also you can use uh, the option uh, that allows you to reduce some uh, consumptions like uh, climate system or something else in the maximum speed and that will extend your range about 20% up to 190 kilometers. That means you're allowed to, to drive and your drivability uh, to extend the range to nearly 200 kilometers. Charging the battery is simple. Just plug it into a regular power outlet and it'll charge in about eight hours. You can cut that time down to three hours with a special wall unit, but that'll cost you extra too. To charging it, you only have to open this unit connection system and there are different uh, plugs in there. This below plugs are for the DC uh, charging system and this uh, plugs uh, on the top are for the AC charging system. And what I can show you is the standard uh, charging cable. It's in the front store, so-called cable storage. You can open it easily and put it out. It's coming with your car and charge your car with this on a normal connection to the net. This is a European one, so in the US you cannot use it, but you will get your specific one in your car. I can show you the drivetrain in the back of the car. The electric drivetrain part is positioned on the left side of the car and you can see the engine down there, the gearbox here flanged on and the ECU, the complete ECU unit uh, including the charger, the uh, normal charger with 3.5 kilowatts and the DC-DC uh, unit and it's all positioned in this unit and the additional uh, unit for 7 kilowatt uh, charging AC is positioned here, it's called UCX and with this components the complete functions of the uh, electric vehicle will be done and fixed. The range extender will be positioned on the right side therefore is the spare, spare space here and this will fulfill the rest of the space in the rear of the engine compartment. How do you keep BMW's brand alive in that design but still try to grow it with the sub-brand? I think they can coexist and each other. Uh, of course, uh, BMW i um, is the brand about pioneering a new technology. It is without compromise and that stands for inspiration, innovation and a bit of intelligence. And uh, of course, that reflects uh, into the design of the i3. Here on the i3, uh, you see like uh, that uh, we talk, of course, about a new brand where uh, we, in a way, uh, recognize BMW uh, in the form of these kidneys. Uh, but it's an electric car, so you see like they are closed and huh? we don't really need uh, some hair here. Uh, you see also that we, of course, have the badge uh, BMW, but it is surrounded by this blue uh, ring that is only specific for the i cars. Of course, uh, a car is a face. Uh, you have like um, the lamps 
which are specific for BMW i. Uh, you see, like uh, we have an LED uh, uh, daylight uh, day, uh, running uh, lamp. And um, it is actually an interesting aspect that when design and technology are coming together, uh, you see that it is very compact, it is very light, uh, and of course uh, that has from the aesthetic uh, something a bit new that inspires trust without being too aggressive. Uh, if I keep walking, uh, walk around, uh, walking around the car, uh, what is interesting also, uh, we played and we find that all around the car, uh, this is this contrast between the black panels, the black belt and the body element. Uh, it makes the car optically lighter. This is important because we want to celebrate uh, lightweight uh, through the design. Efficiency is equally important. Um, we opted for very large uh, wheels actually, but narrow tires. Uh, it helps to make uh, the aerodynamic uh, a lot better. Uh, you have like less drag uh, reduction. But uh, the large diameter, uh, of course, uh, is interesting also from a design standpoint uh, that helps the car to sit very good on the wheels. You see also very uh, short overhangs and uh, that will help like parking maneuvers. Um, the shape language, of course, uh, depicts also the idea of cleanness. Uh, you see that the surfacing uh, is very efficient, uh, very uh, clean, but yet very refined. Uh, a bit of touch of originality and function, and uh, the window graphics are specific to BMW i. Uh, we wanted to offer um, uh, a lot of visibility uh, for a city car, this is important. That's why we have like these uh, graphics here. Uh, the third window in the C post is also very important because you have to um, uh, maximize the safety into the city traffic. And as we move to the rear, uh, that uh, you see again that aerodynamic was very important. You see that in the form of this edge, uh, which of course helps to uh, disconnect the airflow. And again, the black belt, uh, as you saw on the hood, you find it up to the tailgate. Uh, here, there's a whole uh, lot of innovations. Uh, this is all in glass. We integrate LED taillights uh, completely into the surface. That also very clean. There's no shut line. Uh, that's one of the many innovations that we uh, introduced uh, in the BMW i3. You see that uh, that on this cockpit, uh, we have actually uh, first in the center a relatively large display. Actually, that's the biggest we can offer. That's interesting to see that for the first time a very small car has probably the biggest display. Uh, of course, uh, we have like also like a center behind the steering wheel, all the information digitally that you will need to have uh, while driving the car, such as the range and all these sort of things. And here, as you see, you see the, um, the knob that basically will help you uh, to change the direction you want to drive. This is the only decision you have to take uh, when it comes to driving an EV. And uh, again, a couple of like uh, storage, a bit of sculpture also. Uh, we wanted to make the cockpit like very airy. Uh, also with the help of like uh, some new materials uh, that also uh, focus on sustainability. We use some uh, natural fibers, for example, or some fabrics which are made out of recycled materials. So we qualify most of the materials in the cockpit, in the interior. Uh, towards like sustainability, uh, we have some variants also with uh, wood, uh, FSC certified, all these different things. And again, uh, important was also to create a character uh, for the interior which gives a sense of zen, of relax. Huh? It is important to probably drive this car in a responsible manner, non-aggressive manner, and uh, we believe that the character of this interior will help uh, the driver to do so. Now the i3 seats four, but I'm not a big fan of the uh, suicide doors. There's no pillar here, but it's still a little tricky trying to get inside. It's easy to bump your head. But the real test of an electric vehicle is how it drives. So let's go take it for a spin. Now BMW has set up a makeshift course for us to put the i3 through its paces. So we start the vehicle up with the push of a button, put it in drive and accelerate. What you notice off the bat is the acceleration is so impressive. It is really quick. We actually timed it zero to 100 in about 7.9 seconds. Very impressive for an electric vehicle. All you have to do is just put your foot on that pedal and it goes. 
We also have uh, a lot of turning in this vehicle just to see how the turning circle is. It's very impressive too. There are a lot of turns in this circle and as you see, it has a nice tight turning radius. We're on the slalom now and the weight distribution is beautiful. It handles really impressively for an electric vehicle. Not a bad first attempt for BMW's first all-electric vehicle. Now there are some setbacks to driving an all-electric vehicle. One of them is the price. This i3 is $45,000. That's a lot of money to pay for a small car. But at least there are some provincial incentives out there. Depending on where you live, you can qualify for up to $8,500 back. So that's it for me from Amsterdam. Now back to the guys. Well done, Petrina. After the break, it's Britain's latest 200 mile an hour supercar from McLaren.